So today we're going to do some rock painting. It's kind of a fun way to switch it up, keep working with paint and exploring it, and be able to um, share joy and spread some joy in your community. So you'll need some rocks. You can definitely use some of the ones from last week that you were exploring through nature observation. Or you can go on your own rock hunt just outside, see which rocks you might be able to find. They're going to need to be larger in size, um, about the size of your hand. You'll also need some paint or a paintbrush. You can also do this activity a little differently based on the developmental age of your child. If your child is still very small and kind of working on just getting to know their surroundings and environment, you can place your rocks into a paint-filled sensory bag. Have them explore the rocks inside of the bag by pushing it around. The rocks will undoubtedly come out covered in paint. It serves the same purpose here. I'm going to use my paintbrush. Your child may choose to use their hand as well while they're creating um, this beautiful rock painting. So the purpose of this is really to just explore paint in a really fun, different way. You want to make sure that the rocks are covered. They can be totally covered just on the top, or you can cover them all the way around. This is probably going to get messy, so you want to make sure that you have some towels on hand, maybe some damp ones to be able to grab some of those paint-filled hands before they touch anything else. Once you've painted your first coat, or your second coat of your rock, just set them to dry. We're gonna come back to them tomorrow for a second part of this rock painting fun.